Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can pretty much uh, remove rubber banding forever. I'm talking about that annoying lag that can happen um, due to network issues that causes characters to snap uh, back. Uh, I had a major issue. I thought I was dead in the water, uh, that I wasn't going to be able to resolve it. Um, because I started, I wanted to have a lot of NPCs in my game, and I started noticing that they were rubber banding back and forth. I looked and looked and looked and looked. I thought it was maybe a coding error, but it wasn't. I was doing things pretty much as efficiently as you could, and it turned out to be uh, it literally, you know, everybody says, oh, this one simple trick. Well, it really was. So let me start by showing you the before and after videos um, as to why let me just press play. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, when you're watching, it's important to note the difference between a uh, lag and uh, or a rubber banding due to network and lag due to GPU. There is a lot of GPU stuff going on. What I want you to look for is when the characters stop, when the NPCs stop, watch them snap back into place. I'm going to play the video. Here we go. Okay, now you see how even when they... Look at this. When they stop, they kind of jerk back to their location. It's because the network is saying, ah, 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 you're in the wrong place. Let me go ahead and put you in the right spot. See, you notice that one, that, that one huge snap. So this is, this is without any correction to the uh, rubber banding issue. So, by the way, this is just a, a side project I've been working on. Um, it's all just pretty much no art, just code and stuff right now. Yeah, and you can, as you can see, just horrible rubber banding, unplayable, um, and this is with only one client and in Pi with Unreal Engine. So, okay, I think we've seen enough of that. So let me show you the after now. Okay, here is the after with the config file actually in um and set the way things should be set you noticed right there we saw a character it uh they stopped and when they stopped it was uh right where, they were right where they should be is what i'm getting at uh so that that's telling us that um there's no network lag going on and as mentioned earlier you're seeing a little gpu you're seeing some weird z fighting going on in the background ignore that uh, but just let's just look at how the characters are moving and stopping into their positions where they should be. Uh, I want to say I might have had uh, 60 to 100. I don't know. I got a lot of NPCs running in here, and these aren't dumbed down. They got a full you know thought process going on here as to who they're attacking and and all this sort of thing. So there's definitely a lot going on. Uh, but it looks to me other than some cheap animations that the network is is going along just fine so now for the grand reveal what did i find out well i was actually going through i think i went through every single website trying to figure out okay i have this lag how do i fix the lag what do i need to do and nobody seemed to know on the unreal engine development type folks like there that wasn't it just wasn't there for some reason. I actually found it on, it was people hosting servers and it is a config setting that controls a network bandwidth. And for whatever reason, Unreal has it uh, set defaulted really low. And it would make sense if you were doing maybe, I don't know, like a mobile game with extremely limited data because at first I was only, you know, I was only having like six NPCs and I was having this trouble and I'm like, well, this is a bunch of crap. I got to have more than 60. I want hundreds, you know, and, and you, the engine's fully capable and the computer's fully capable. So, uh, let, let, let's go ahead and let me show you what you need to change to fix everything for this network lag. Okay, so I'm I'm in the directory for where my project's located, where my U project is. So you'll need to find that. Now, yours might like look a little bit different because I'm using a C++ project on this particular project. But you should still have the folder that I'm talking about that's going to get you to have, to have your stuff, uh, what you need. So it's in this config folder right here. So double click on that. And then it's going to be the, let's see, default engine.ini and we are going to edit this with i use notepad plus plus you can use whatever you, you can just use normal notepad but i like notepad plus plus 
Okay, and so yours might not look have near as much stuff as mine does, but I went ahead and I am going to paste this into the description of the video of the part that you need, and it's going to be this configured internet speed, LAN speed, network bandwidth, and this client rate. So I'm going to go over into my other window. All I did, I copied and pasted it so it, you wouldn't get confused with all my collision settings. So this is exactly what you need right here. And it might be a little bit hard to see on my screen. So there, blew it up a little bit for you guys. So that's what you're going to need. Now, you want to be careful with this. Like you shouldn't, when you're developing, you shouldn't be developing to the max of the capabilities. It is a good idea when you're starting out your project to, you know, keep it default. That's fine. When you start to see that lag, then you at least have, know where you're at. If you got one NPC or something like that and it's already maxing out, there might be some issues with how you're setting some stuff up. You know, for instance, doing RPC calls on the tick or, or something like that. That could cause some some of that network things, uh, replicating movement, too many things replicating. That can cause the issues. But if you're reasonable and you know what you're doing network wise, and you're store and you're and you're still getting all these lags, this is this is definitely a good place to check. Um, and it it totally changed everything. Play around with these values. I would use the absolute minimum that you can get away with. If you can if you can lower the values and not notice anything. That's that's probably for the better, and it and it gives you a good you know benchmark to see where you're going. This seems to be standard. I just was fiddling around with these, um, but I, I I saw a few other examples of how people had it set up, and this wasn't crazy. I saw people that had stuff turned way up. Now that could be an issue because you wouldn't if if you had if you had these values super high, you wouldn't easily be able to detect detect. Um, you when you're when you're being inefficient with your with your network networking um so 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 be careful there there is a built-in and this would be a good for another video there is a built-in network profiler and this is how i even knew that my stuff was efficient enough that it should be fine was looking at the network profiler that's built into the engine um, it's like a separate program. Google it, look it up. If you have trouble and you want a video, let me know. I'll do one on it. And, and you could see like, oh, okay, what's tying up all my bandwidth? What what's going on? And it was just the um, the it was just re replicating character movement, like the default tick box. And so I know, okay, with six guys, the character movement shouldn't be killing me that much. I even disabled the. Uh, 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 replicate movement on like my projectiles because really I just needed the server to know about it. I didn't know I need to know the clients to know about it. So there, there was all these, you know, all these other things. I even had like my inventories were only being uh, replicated to the owner. So I turned off all this stuff and I was just getting this terrible lag. And that's, that's how I knew, okay, I've done everything I could. Let's dig into the config files. You're going to find a lot of stuff in these config files uh, that, that you need to pay attention to. Um, so when, when you've, when you've <laughs> like I, when, when you're where I was, where you're like, oh, I can't figure it out, start looking into config settings and just about it. T I mean, your config settings are touching everything. You saw how I had like, um, what did I have in here? I, you know, your collisions in here, all, all sorts of, I got all sorts of stuff. Look at all this stuff. Uh, so a lot going on. Anyway, that's all I wanted to uh, let you guys know about. That's uh, you know, one of those big deals that nobody's talking about. So check it out. See uh, what you notice and let me know what you guys think. And let me know what you guys think.